Welcome back. Welcome to a new part in this Laravel shopping cart video series. So we left when we had this dummy data here. Not too bad, not too nice. I went to actually seed some dummy data to the database so that we we're at least working with real data from the database and then output that database data here on that view. So of course, in order to seed that data, I will need to set up my database and I will do this using Laravel's migrations to create the tables, configure the tables, define which fields I want to have in my tables and also then to seed the data. So in order to do this, I'm navigated into my projects folder and I will run PHP artisan make model to create a new model. I want to make a little bit wider so that it fits into one line and I will give this model a name and I will name it product since it will be, well, a product model, the products we see on the page. And I add the M flag here to also create a migration file. So now if I save this and go to my project in the database folder, you see, the, uh, first you see this new product here in the app folder. Let's add it to Git. And in the database folder, in the migrations folder, you see this new migrations file. You also see the user and password migration files. I will get rid of those. I don't need them here right now. And next step is I want to configure this schema for my database table. It already has an idea and the timestamps and that is fine, but I will need a couple of other fields. For one, I want to store the path to my image. So this will be a string because I will store well a path, a string, not the image itself. I will name this field image path. I will duplicate this to also provide a title and duplicate it again to also provide a description. However, for this, I will use the text method to allow for more text than just with a string, which will effectively create a var char, which will be limited to a certain amount of characters, 255 at, uh, by default. So with text, I allow more characters. And of course, the description should have the chance to be longer. And finally, I also need a price. This will be either, a f uh, it could either be a float. Uh, I, I will stick to integers here, but you could make it a float. So then I will have my price. And that is the schema of my table. So all my products will have these fields in the database. And that sounds about right to me because these are the fields we have here. An image, a title, the description, and the price in dollars. Now I won't manage currencies here. I won't um, add a currency field. Everything will be in dollars in this application to just keep that minimum simplicity here. So if that the schema is set up, next I want to create a seeder for that. I can go back to the terminal and run PHP artisan make seed. And then I will name this product table seeder. Now back in the project folder, you will see a new file in this seeds folder. And in this file, I can now create the, well, the, the initial products I want to have. I do this by creating a new product here, new product, and then defining all the different fields. Now I could define this like this product title and then a title, or I can mass assign it However, for this to work, I will go into the product model and I will add a field here, the protected fillable property, which is a, takes an array or should be an array. And in this array, I define all the fields which I want to be able to assign upon creation of such a project, product object, an instance of that class here. So I want to be able to provide the image path. I want to be able Oops, to set the title. The same is true for the description and of course for the price. These are the fields I want to be able to set when creating a new product. Now I can just pass an array to this um, constructor here. And in this array, I can set up the image path, which should be some path, the title, which will be a title. So Harry Potter, for example, here, and uh, I will quickly grab the image path here too. Oops, that's the path. 
also insert this here and the description super cool at least as a child haven't read it a couple of years so i don't know if i would still like it and the price an integer so let's say this costs ten dollars whatever so this would create one product however i want to have multiple products of course and by the way uh, it would create it because I need to call save. Now it would create it. However, I want to have multiple products. Now, there are a couple of ways to achieve this. I will simply copy that, copy that here, and just re re repeat this process, let's say five times to have five different books. Now, I won't bore you with filling this out, so I'll be back once I entered all the data here. So I'm done. I created all the seed data in this file. Next step is in this database seeder file, I will specify that I want to call this product table seeder. This will then execute this once I run the seed command in the artisan command line tool. And I will do this now. So in order to do this, I will first migrate my migration to create this database table. So run the migrate command. And then I will run php artisan db seed to seed the data. And with that, I should have the data in my database. And in fact, I can have a look at the database in my SQL Pro um, program here, which is connected to my Homestead database. And here you can see the product. So that looks good. So products are in the database. Models is, model is created. Uh, next step is to actually output them in the view.